Oh, yeah, I remember I remember that day very, very well. As he prepares to retire, Republican Senator Pat Toomey recounting what he yeah, says was the, the worst chamber. day of his 18 years of congressional service. Toomey was in the Senate chamber when it became clear something was wrong. The sergeant at arms jumped up and shouted out that um, close the doors, turn on, you know, all lights on, all doors locked, nobody goes in or out. It's, you know, activity suspended here and realize, well, that's pretty serious. We've never seen that before. Senators were moved to a new location. We were in there for quite some time, and the president could have, I think he could have immediately called it off. He could have urged people to stop what they're doing, evacuate the Capitol. Did you try to reach the president that day at all? No. No, I, I was, uh, yeah, I was not uh, communicating with the president by that point, I don't think. Um, Certainly not very much. I don't know that I spoke with the president at all after the election. Were others around you trying to reach him? Uh, yeah, and he was trying to reach others. I mean, you have to understand what was happening here. The president was very happy with what was happening, in my view, because he wanted to delay the certification of the election for a reason. Not because, um, not for its own sake, but because he thought that he still had a chance to persuade the legislatures of several states, including our state of Pennsylvania, to send a new slate of electors that would be all pro-Trump electors. And he was calling colleagues of mine, urging them to delay this any way you can. It's so outrageous what he did. You were watching those conversations take place. I stood next to one of my colleagues when, when he picked up the phone, and uh, I heard him say, uh, uh, no, no, Mr. President, this is, this is, and then he identified himself. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I overheard at least uh, portions of this end of the conversation. But then I spoke with my colleagues afterwards, too. I said, what's going on here? It was, it was very clear what was going on. Less than two years later, Donald Trump announced he's running for president again. Would you ever vote for him again? No, I've made it very clear. I think his behavior after the election of 2020 up to and through January 6th completely disqualifies him from ever serving in public office. I, I can't support him. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.